Okay, so today we want to talk about the definition of a response variable versus an explanatory variable. And for those of you that study sciences, um, this is the same as a dependent and an independent variable. Um, a few years ago, Further Maths decided to change from talking about independent and dependent variables and renaming them as response and explanatory, which is a, a little bit unhelpful, but the words do help you to understand which one's which. Um, so in the previous two chapters, we've been looking at univariate data, so where we have a single data set um, or data to re relating to a single variable, I should say. Um, and now we're going to start to look at bivariate data, so where we're comparing two variables, trying to look for associations or correlations, um, etc. So um, when we're looking at the relationship between two, two variables, one variable is usually defined as the explanatory variable which would be the independent variable for those familiar with that term. And the other is the response variable, so the dependent variable. Um, so for example, if we were going to look at the relationship between salary and age of employees in a particular company, it would be reasonable to expect that an employee's salary might depend to some extent on their age. So in this situation, we would define age as the explanatory variable. It's age that explains a person's salary. Um, and salary is the res response variable. So their um, salary level is in response to um, how old they are and therefore how much experience they have. So when we um, display bivariate data on a graph, the explanatory variable would always be placed on the horizontal axis. That's the same for the independent variable. And the response variable would be replaced, would be placed on the vertical axis. axis. So that's the um, dependent variable. So um, explanatory is the X and response variable is the Y. Okay, so let's have a think about um, some variables and decide which is the explanatory variable, which we'll abbreviate to EV, and which is the response, um, which we will abbreviate to RV. So we've got the number of air conditioners sold and the daily temperature. Okay, so in this instance, um, we might think that we're more likely to sell more air conditioners when it's hot and so therefore the number of air conditioners sold is responding to the temperature. So the temperature is the explanatory variable, it's the temperature, daily temperature that explains the air conditioner sales. So daily temperature is the explanatory variable and number of air conditioners sold is the response. If it's hot, more air conditioners are sold. If it's cold, less. Um, the mark obtained in a maths test and the number of hours spent preparing for the test. So generally speaking, we would assume that the more hours one spends preparing for the test, um, the better their mark is going to be. And so therefore, um, there is a, well, we could predict there might be an association there. Um, but the, it is likely to be the number of hours studying that explain the result on the test, not the reverse. So the explanatory variable, therefore, is the number of hours spent preparing. And the response variable is the mark obtained in the test. Uh, part C, the cost of grapes in dollars per kilogram and the season of the year. Okay, so um, cost of any fruit and vegetable is likely to fluctuate throughout the year depending on whether that um, fruit or vegetable is in season. And so therefore the cost of the grapes is likely to be driven by the season. Um, so it's the season that is explaining the cost. So explanatory variable is the season and the response variable is the cost. Uh, the number of members of a household and the size of the house. Okay, so in most instances, the size of house that a family chooses to live in, or if they can, um, is dictated by the number of members in the household. So if you've got a household with just two members, you probably don't have a very large house. If you have a six-member 
uh, family, then you probably have a larger house. So obviously there are exceptions to any of these rules, but it's generally speaking, you know, which which is driving the decision for the other one. So it wouldn't be that if I've got a large house, therefore I um, must increase the size of my family. It wouldn't be that way around. Um, it would be if I've got a large family, that's likely to drive my decision about my house. Okay, so therefore the explanatory variable is the number of members of the household. And the response variable would be the size of the house. The growth of a plant and the amount of fertilizer it receives. Okay, so again, um, putting fertilizer on the plant is likely to affect the growth whereas the growth is not likely to affect whether or not you put fertilizer on the plant, okay? So the explanatory variable is the fertilizer, the amount of fertilizer, and the response then is um, how that fertilizer impacts the growth of the plant. So explanatory variable, amount of fertilizer, oops, sorry, amount of fertilizer, and the response variable is the growth of the plant. Month of the year and the electricity bill for that month. So again, a bit like the air conditioner example earlier, um, you know, our electricity bill is likely to fluctuate um, a bit across the year. We would have to spend more perhaps in, well, it depends on where you live in the world, but you might spend more in summer when your air condition, conditioner is running, or you might um, spend more in winter when your heating is running. Obviously, it depends if those are gas systems or electric systems, um, but certainly... Um, most households would find they have certain times of year where they spend more on their electricity and other times where they spend less. And so therefore the month is the explanatory variable and the, the um, should really be the value of the electricity bill. Would be in response to that month. Not necessarily because January is an expensive month, but it would be about the sorts of things that are happening in that month or what is happening with the weather in that month. Um, all the same, it's not likely to be the other way around. If you've got a really expensive um, electricity bill, um, that's not determining whether or not it's April. Okay, So thinking about in which direction is the, the sort of I'm reluctant to use the word cause because we'll talk more about that later, but in which direction is, is the cause likely to be happening? Okay, time to have a go at the questions yourself.